Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to talk about the topic you've been asking for. It is financing. How to get investment for your business. So obviously this is a huge topic and there is a lot of aspects we need to take into consideration. But in general, there are certain sources of capital. First, we're going to talk about the four F's. The four F's basically consist of the founder, so you yourself, family, friends, and fools. So these are four different sources of capital we summarize as four Fs. So obviously what it refers to is you could have your own money, you could have family money, but you could also have friends or some other fools who are investing into your business. If that's not possible, there is always another way to get financing. So another opportunity would be bootstrapping. Now what bootstrapping means is that you start a business slowly and whatever comes back into your business, you reinvest. So you start slowly and become bigger and bigger over time. Obviously, this takes a lot of time and in most businesses, you will not be able to do so because it takes time until the business generates money. Third, you could also go with government supported programs. Now, a lot of the governments actually have programs which support entrepreneurship. Obviously, this comes with certain conditions and is usually limited in amounts, but could get you going. So you should look for government supported programs in your country and see how you can actually get started with their support. Obviously, it's in their interest to support entrepreneurship in their own country. In general, we separate between equity financing and debt financing. So equity financing means that you give out shares in your company in basic terms. Debt financing, however, means that you actually take a loan or you have to pay the amount back with a certain profit or interest rate. Now, when it comes to debt financing, the most common way would be a bank loan. However, a lot of banks are not willing to give loans to startups. In most countries, however, startups will not receive a loan from a bank because of the missing securities a startup cannot give to the banks. In most cases, you will probably need a guarantor, which is nothing different than an investor. Another form of debt financing could be supplier or customer financing. I'll give you an example. A form of supplier financing would be that you can buy products with certain payment terms. So you buy a product from your supplier and he tells you that you can pay him in a month's time. So he gives you payment terms of 30 days. Now you can actually buy these products, sell those, get paid instantly, but have 30 days until you can pay your supplier. This way you have a favorable working capital situation, meaning that you can actually use your supplier's money to finance your business. Now obviously this is only possible first if your supplier has a lot of trust in you and second if you've already generated a business which is running and has paying customers last but not least there are business angels and venture capitalists business angels are usually rich individuals or individuals in general who are willing to invest their personal money into startups while on the other hand venture capitalists are more institutional investors who invest usually larger tickets into startups or even uh, mature businesses. Now, this usually comes as equity financing. We've now seen six different types of sources of capital. You now need to ask yourself, do you need investment? Most of us will say, of course we'll need investment because we don't have enough funds available. Let's talk about the venture capitalists. Venture capitalists want to invest into businesses which are scalable, which can grow fast, and which gives them high returns for their investment. Obviously, they're looking for a significant share in your business. Now, you need to decide if you need this type of rocket fuel because finances will probably be available if you make the cut at the venture capitalist's decision, but you need to make sure that you get a high return on their investment. When you do want to go with venture capitalists, I suggest you make a list and you don't start at the top. You start with probably the number 10 on your list and pitch your idea. We're going to talk about the idea pitch in a minute.
But for now, make sure that you train yourself to present your business in the best way possible. I would also suggest to have an investor council ready. It could be actually just a mentor or someone who has experience with dealing with venture capitalists. And don't forget, the venture capitalists will do due diligence on your business. It means they will look at every single number you have presented and the facts and promises you will give. But this due diligence should not be only a one-way process. You should also make sure that you are happy to work with these type of individuals for a prolonged period of time. So it's a two-way due diligence. Two further tips I would like to give you. Do not overprice or underprice your business. When it comes to valuation, it's extremely important to find the right value for your business or your idea you're about to pitch. If you demand a too high valuation and you might even get it in the first round, you might have difficulties later on to raise further funds. On the other hand, if you underprice your business, you might just give away too much of your equity and have little left of your own business. Last but not least, when it comes to creating boards, boards of directors, I would suggest not to overcomplicate that. Meaning, these individuals who decide on the strategy of the business should be limited and should actually have a good understanding among each other. So how do you actually get to these venture capitalists? So obviously there are certain lists online and blogs where a lot of startups announce their venture capitalists behind them so you could actually find those relatively simple on certain blogs talking about new startups getting investments. But other ways could also be startup-oriented lawyers, for example, because they deal with a lot of startups on a day-to-day -day basis. Other sources could also be startup-focused recruiters, because they also are in touch with a lot of entrepreneurs and venture capitalists working with them. Obviously, you could also go to industry conferences where there are a lot of entrepreneurs and startups pitching their ideas to potential venture capitalists. At the same time, that's also a great source for you to get to know these individuals. I believe, however, the best way to get to venture capitalists is through entrepreneurs. Is actually to find entrepreneurs who've been able to raise funds and talk to them and ask for introductions and actually get support from those individuals. And if you want to get to those entrepreneurs, what you could do is once you've found venture capitalists who have invested into one company, check out their website and see which portfolio companies they have. They usually list the companies they have invested into and you might be able to get in touch with those entrepreneurs. When you meet these individuals for the first time and you only have a few minutes to explain your idea, you usually need to have your so-called elevator pitch ready. It is called elevator pitch because you need to be able to describe your business during an elevator ride. I suggest you be brief, 60 seconds, and you answer five questions. What is the problem? How are you solving it? What is the target market? What progress have you made? And why are you the best to do it? Once you get the interest of that individual, you'll probably be invited for a meeting. And in that meeting, you're gonna discuss all the topics we're gonna to cover and partially have already covered. First, you're gonna talk about yourself and the team. You're gonna talk about your business plan and you're gonna talk about how much financing you require. You will also talk about the business intelligence. How do you plan to make this business work? So stay tuned and we're gonna talk about all this and help you get there. Thank you very much.